if news was to be conveyed to us, dear brothers and sisters, that one of our arteries or more in our heart has now been blocked, we would spend every penny of our wealth, every second of our day, pursuing a cure, having realized that life cannot continue if I am in this state. However, Ibrahim sallallahu alayhi wa has just taught us that the real meaning of the dying of a heart is not when it stops beating, is not when it becomes blocked with cholesterol. The real meaning of the dying of a heart is when a heart dies out from iman, it dies out from faith, you start losing interest in Islam. This is the meaning of the dying of a heart. Ibrahim has just told us that on the day of judgment, Allah will accept nothing but a sound heart. This is a scary ayah, ikhwani and akhawat. The same way that Allah has loaned you your heart in a pure, pristine, sound, salim state, you and I are expected to return it to Allah in the same pristine, sound, and salim state. Otherwise, Allah will not accept it. Otherwise, Allah will not accept it. So what is the sound heart? What is the sound heart? The heart which Allah will not accept anything but it. Let us take a look at the definitions given by our predecessors. Mujahid, Mujahid, he says that the Salim sound heart, الذي لا شك فيه, the sound heart is in reference to that heart that has no doubt in Allah, no doubt. Qatada, he said, القلب السليم هو القلب الخالي من الشرك. The sound heart, Qatada says, is that heart that has no disbelief in it whatsoever. Allahu Akbar. It's pure Tawheed, pure Islam. Al-Dahak, he said, Al-Qalb al-Saleem, Al-Khalis. The sound heart is a heart that is sincere. He doesn't want to show off. It is only for Allah. He says, it is a heart that is sincere. Abu Uthman al-Naysaburi, he says, Al-Qalb al-Saleem, Huwa al-Qalb al-Khali min al-Bid'ati al-Mutma'innu ila sunnah. He says, it is the heart, it is the heart that has no innovations in it whatsoever, having found rest in the way of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu in the Sunnah, Allahu Akbar. Then you have Imam Ibn Qayyim, Allahu Akbar, in his book al Jawab Al-Kafi, who takes all of these beautiful different expressions, and he strings them for you like a pearl of, a, a bead of pearls, and he says in two sentences, gathering all of this information, he says, وَلَا تَتِمُّ سَلَامَةُ الْقَلْبِ حَتَّى يَسْلَمَ مِنْ خَمْسَةِ أَشْيَاءِ the heart of a Muslim cannot be salim sound till it becomes sound and pure from five different illnesses. Ya Allah, what are they brother Ali? So that we can start the cleaning process before we meet Allah. Only the sound heart will be accepted. What are the five? He says, حَتَّى يَسْلَمَ مِنْ شِرْكٍ يُنَاقِدُ التَّوْحِيدِ وَحَتَّى يَسْلَمَ مِنْ بِدَعَةٍ تُنَاقِدُ السُنَّةِ وَحَتَّى يَسْلَمَ مِنْ شَهْوَةٍ تُنَاقِدُ الْأَمْرِ وَحَتَّى يَسْلَمَ مِنْ غَفْلَةٍ تُنَاقِدُ الذِّكِرِ وَحَتَّى يَسْلَمَ مِنْ هَوًا يُنَاقِدُ التَّجْرِيدَ وَالْإِخْلَاسِ He says the sound heart is only sound when it purifies itself from five different things. Number one, until it becomes sound from disbelief that contradicts Tawheed, the oneness of Allah. Number two, until it becomes sound from innovations that contradict the Sunnah. Number three, until it becomes sound from haram temptations that contradict the obligations. Number four, until it becomes sound from sleep and heedlessness which contradicts remembrance and wakefulness. Number five, until it becomes sound from desires that contradict sincerity. Ya Salam. If we have struggled to remember these things, then remember this one sentence. It is a summary of what the sound heart is. We can say that the sound heart is that heart that is entirely for Allah. This is Al-Qalb Al-Salim. This is a heart that has no space for disbelief, kufr, shirk. It has no room for innovations. This is a heart that is not influenced by the doubtful arguments of the doubters or the hypocrisy of the hypocrites. This is a heart that is not influenced by the different methodologies and ideologies and philosophies and the isms of the West or the East. It's a sound heart. This is a heart 
that is not interested in the attention of X, Y, and Z individuals. It only wants the attention of Allah. It's sound. This is a heart. This is a heart that does not allow the person to fall out with another Muslim, to boycott him or her more than three days, God forbid. This heart is salim, it's sound. It's a heart that is free from spite and malice and rancor and envy when it sees goodness coming to another person, whether it's a beautiful wife or whether it's a car, whether it's a house, they say, Alhamdulillah, Ya Rabbi, give him more if it's good for him or her. And when they see evil, uh, bad health, bankruptcy, uh, bad deen falling upon an individual, they make dua for this individual. Ya Rabbi, guide them. Ya Rabbi, give them cure. Ya Rabbi, give them health. This heart, this heart is salim. It's so pure. It's so clean. And what is amazing is that in the entirety of the Quran, and we're going we're gonna to conclude with this, the topic of the sound heart was only mentioned twice. The first time it was referenced into Ibrahim, the first time was in reference to Ibrahim, and the second time was in reference to Ibrahim. The first time, as you just heard in the chapter of the poets, he told us on the day of judgment, man will not be benefited from his wealth or his children, except a person who meets Allah with the sound heart. And then look in Surah Safat. What does Ibrahim say? What does Allah say? He says, Wa inna min shi'atihi la Ibrahim when Ibrahim, Allah says, came to me with a sound heart. So in the first verse in the Shu'ara, Ibrahim says, only that will help you, a sound heart. In Surah Al-Safat, Allah said, Ibrahim came to me with a sound heart. Allah. Therefore, brothers and sisters, don't allow your heart to become a house, a home to pythons and snakes. Harboring spite against this person and envy against this person. And how am I going to avenge myself from this individual? Don't allow your heart to become a home to wild animals. Don't ignite a furnace of fire in your heart, an oven that burns you and harms you because you will end up falling in this oven yourself. And only you will harm. Only you will be harmed. Therefore, brothers and sisters, every night before going to sleep, Think about your relationship with Allah and then your relationship with people. Think about those sins that you had committed. Think about the aspects of shirk that may have come into your tawheed. The aspect of innovations that have come into your methodology. The aspect of desire that you may have pursued that day. Think about them. Ask Allah to forgive you. Then turn your attention to people. And think about those whom you have upset. Or those whom you have, those who have, uh, have upset you and begin pardoning them one after the other. In hope that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bless you with a heart that is salim, a heart that is sound. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Rabbi shrah li sadri wa yassir li amri wa hlul uqdatan min lisani yafqahu qawli بشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي I want you to imagine yourself sitting at home see yourself there Feel the couch that you're sitting on. Look at your kids running around. You're watching TV, you're reading a book, you're on the computer, whatever you usually do. And suddenly, you feel this immense pain in your chest. Put your hands on your chest. This immense pain. You don't know what it's coming from. It's just this immense pain. And you take a deep breath, and you think it will go away but it doesn't. And this pain is just increasing and suddenly you see yourself...